Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. It's time for another car devotion. I wanted to share a quick story with you. So we're back at school with our kids and this is the first week back. They actually went back on Tuesday. And if you're a parent, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. Um, you're, you're not quite in the routine is you, you know what the routine should be, but you're, it, it's not like clicking just automatically for you. So the second day of school, my oldest son had a swim meet out of town and I went with him because that's what parents do. Right. And, um, he was excited about it. It was his first swim meet of the year. We've been working real hard and I was excited because he, he did real well. He qualified for state in one event, barely missed the other event. And I was just like riding that, that, uh, moment as a parent. And it was about that time that I got a message from my other son's teacher. And she just said, Hey, I was just checking on, um, your son's ride after school. Like who's picking him up? Are you on the way? Are you almost here? And it dawned on me that not only was I not almost there because I was two hours away, but I, it wasn't even on my radar. I didn't have anybody to pick him up or anything, you know, like that. So I just kind of panicked and said, okay, you know, we'll, we'll work this out. So I sent him to after school program and, and called and, and got somebody who could go by and, and thank the Lord for friends like that. Right. And it, it reminded me of this, of the story in the old Testament of, of God's people. One of the things I'm doing is reading through the Bible uh, in one of those daily Bible plans this year. And I'm doing it with some, some friends of mine. And this is that section of the Bible that, that kind of blows me away that I just, I have no idea what's going on. Even as, as like a pastor, I'm just like, man, this is crazy stuff, you know, happening here. What, what in the world? Um, you know, you got Sodom and Gomorrah, you, you got Lot, you got this thing with angels and, and, and Lot's like pleading with the Lord. And then, then Abraham, you know, he, he and Sarah finally have a, a child and, uh, you know, oh, go, go sacrifice your son. No, just kidding. I was just seeing if you were, you know, faithful. Uh, you know, and all those kinds of things, and it's just kind of nuts. And as the story of God's people starts to unfold in the Old Testament, there are two phrases that that come to mind. The first phrase is, and people did what was right in their own mind. Um, you know, when Moses goes up on the mountain, he takes a little bit too long, and so the people of God, the people of Israel, they throw all their gold into the fire and and they say out pops this this golden calf right that they start worshiping which is crazy to me because who worships a cow like pick a lion or something if you followed me you know before uh we had a maze road you, you you've heard me say that it's like if you're going to pick something don't pick a cow pick a lion like an eagle or you know something like something just awesome you know that's going to come in there and 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 bring about the vengeance you know right and you know they don't do it so anyway they pick a cow um but but that's the thing is like they took their eyes off of god and then there's this other phrase that that comes along in the old testament and and it's where where god's people repent and it says and, and he will be their god and they will be his people and it's just this kind of cycle throughout the old testament into the new with god's testament all the way to us right uh, we have those same cycles in our life. We we take our eyes off of God. We take our focus off of God, off the things we should, and do the things we want to do. And then, then we have these moments, and we repent. We say, oh, never again am I going to do that um, again. That's the thing. It's like when we take our eyes off of God, we start to make little decisions that we never would have made. And they don't seem like a big deal, and we rationalize them away and, you know, whatever, right? But, but that's when it happens. It's little decisions that add up. Little decisions can either add up and be great decisions or they can add up and be just horrible decisions. I watched a documentary one time on, on people uh, who were uh, on death row. That wasn't what the documentary was about, but they were talking about it in a portion of the documentary. And they had interviewed all these people on like death row and, and who were in prison just for like heinous crimes and stuff. And the thing that struck me was uh, there was a commonality with all of them. None of them woke up one day and said, hey, I, I want to be a serial killer or, you know, any, anything like that. They, every one of them said it happened, 
you know, it happened with a little decision and I made another little decision and I made another little decision. That's what happens when we take our eyes um, off God, when we take our eyes off what it is that we're trying to obtain. You know, it's still the new year. We're, we're trying to, to focus in on our resolutions, right? Um, same thing, you know, if you're reading the Bible through, we're a week in, right? Um, all of a sudden, it, it's, it's, a, it's a day here, a day there, and then all of a sudden in June, you're like a month and a half behind and you just give up, right? But it, it's little decisions, right? And, and so we put things in our, in our lives in other areas, right, like to remind us, right? Some people have little apps that remind them to drink water throughout the day and just all this kind of stuff. Maybe you've got somebody in your life spiritually who, who they, they remind you to do something or whatever. We need to do the same thing you know, for ourselves to, to keep our uh, mind on God and to keep our focus on God. So um, if not, you're just going to wake up and, and have made a bad decision. Same thing for me. I didn't wake up and say, well, I think I'll leave my kid at school today. It was all the chaos of life was kind of distracting me. I was distracted with the start of school. I was distracted with uh, my other son's, you know, birthday was this week and the swim meet and just all these other things that were going on. And it just kind of fell in um, to be in that way. So what about you in your spiritual life? Have you taken your eyes off the prize already? Have you taken your focus off a of God already? Um, it, you know, refocus, recalibrate. We're a weekend in, into the new year. Uh, if you need to put somebody in your life to say, you know what, hold me accountable spiritually. Ask me if I've read my Bible. Ask me if I'm focusing on God. You know, just whatever it is. Um, have a great day. God bless you, and we will see you soon. Give us a like, a share, and a follow. Um, if you haven't seen it already, we're doing a giveaway. Um, so, so check that out um, with our friends over at Simplify, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.